they've just announced Triple H. Now, I guess they're going to give him, throw him a bone, as we used to say, since they've taken his baby away, and he's going to be in charge of the next in line program, the NIL program, where they're going to go out and find a bunch of athletes in other sports that have don't want to be wrestlers, have never thought about being wrestlers, and they're going to try to talk them into being wrestlers for a large amount of money. So you're going to get a lot of dedicated people that will break their backs to be the best ever. A program, that a program that they are enticed to be a part of. Yes. If you got to talk a motherfucker into being a professional wrestler because of how much money you're going to pay him right off the bat, you've picked the wrong guy. Yes, you may find a freak football player or somebody out there that just naturally takes to it. But if you have to coerce people into becoming wrestlers because they have so many other options, you've already shit the bed. To be a wrestler, somebody has to want to live it and breathe it and do nothing else to the exclusion of all else, possibly even their family. Like the good old days. That's when you find somebody who wants to be a wrestler and they'll be goddamn good at it. But to talk people into it because of the money and the prestige of being with a major organization, they're going to take your fucking money, they're going to get by, and they're going to move on to the next thing that was handed to them since this was handed to them as well. Go $20,000 in a hole on a fucking shot in Tupelo sometime like I did in 1982 and see if you still want to stay in the wrestling business. I drove there. I worked. I wasn't on the fucking pay sheet so the Mark woman that had bought the town from Eddie Marlin so they didn't close it down wouldn't pay me and I wrecked my brand new car on the way to Memphis. Went $20,000 in the hole on a show in Tupelo. Tupelo. 